If you are a reader who thinks the books of Hemingway are boring and for old people, then you, my friend, cannot call yourself a reader. From novels and short stories to nonfiction, the legendary author gave years of his life to his books, so calling his work not worth the time is nothing short of an insult. Every reader has heard the name of Ernest Hemingway, but due to him being a 20th century author, his work often gets labeled as old school, especially by Gen Z. The problem is that readers pick the book without putting any thought into it, which will obviously result in disappointment. The only way you will realize the worth of his work is by picking the right book to read. To help you get out of this dilemma, this video has been devoted to sharing the best Hemingway books. So if you are a reader, then I suggest you buckle up because you will find some of the best books of your life in this video. Mostly known for writing short stories, Ernest Hemingway also wrote some novels and nonfiction books that are at the top of their genres. He was an American novelist who had the readers of the 20th century wrapped around his fingers. In fact, even today his work is loved by people across the globe. The man also won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. The Nick Adams Stories The plot of this book revolves around one person and shows his entire journey from childhood to becoming a soldier and serving in World War I, to moving to the field of a writer, and then becoming a parent. The book has been divided into five parts, and each section has four to five parts that cover the entire life story of Nick Adams. The book starts with the first section, called The Northern Woods. Many believe that Hemingway has based the plot of this book on his own life experiences. Even if it is not entirely based on it, you can still see a resemblance in the events that occur throughout the book, which makes it quite an interesting read. So, for any reader who wants to do some light reading of Hemingway's work, this is the perfect one to start with. Number 9. To Have and Have Not This book is a fiction novel by Hemingway that tells the story of Harry Morgan. The man is the definition of honesty until one day, he makes a decision that goes against his principles, but is necessary to support his family financially. Harry starts to run contraband between the regions of Cuba and Key West, which weaves him into an adventurous world where he finds himself in the midst of filthy rich yachtsmen. However, the real trouble arises when he starts to have an affair and finds himself in the middle of two armies during World War II. The events that will unfold in the life of Harry Morgan, told in the unique way of Hemingway, will have you fall in love with this book. Number 8. Islands in the Stream The plot of this book follows the life of Thomas Hudson, who is an adventurer as well as an artist. The book starts with sharing the story of Thomas when he was working as an artist on the island of Bimini. The man only has his work and his loneliness till the day his three sons come to see him on a vacation. After spending a couple of weeks with his son doing different leisure activities, especially fishing, Thomas bids farewell to his sons when they need to leave. However, a short while after their departure, he receives a letter that states that his sons along with his wife died tragically in a car accident. Shortly after the world faces World War II, in which Thomas is asked to serve on a boat that hunts submarines of the German soldiers. What follows after is a course of events where Thomas along with his crew are searching for a specific German submarine. In the middle of his service in the war, Thomas also finds himself back in the arms of his first wife, who is also the mother of his firstborn son that died. Number 7. Death in the Afternoon This is one of the greatest books, not only in the genre of classics, but also in the category of bullfighting. Hemingway saw bullfighting as more than a mere sport or fun activity, and his love for bullfighting can be seen in this book. He has shared an in-depth detail about the history, the traditions revolving around bullfighting, specifically Spanish bullfighting as well as the ceremony itself. Hemingway also states that his art has been inspired by none other than this sport. He has referred to bullfighting as a ballet that has been perfectly choreographed in this book. In this book, you will follow Hemingway in his journey of what started off as a way to get him to depict and write emotions perfectly, ending with the man getting obsessed with the art of bullfighting. Number 6. Green Hills of Africa In December 1933, Hemingway along with his wife took a trip to the land of Africa, and his book, Green Hills of Africa, is an ode to that place. The man was fond of hunting, especially big game hunting and other types of sports that came into this category, so the one month that he spent on safari has been captured in lyrics and presented in this book. A month on safari allowed him to see nature up close, and he shared the entire experience in his own quirky way in the Green Hills of Africa. 
From the magnificent animals he sighted in Africa to the beauty of the land, readers will find everything in this book that enchanted Hemingway. Number 5. A Movable Feast The work of Hemingway was discovered and appreciated later on in his life, so most of his life he spent undiscovered. A Movable Feast is a memoir that encompasses the twenties of Hemingway's life that he spent in Paris. From writing in random cafes present on the street of Paris due to his poor state to the author's encounters with other writers that were also living a life of anonymity. The list of authors that are mentioned in this book includes Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald, Wyndham Lewis, and James Joyce. Like Hemingway, all of these authors had also just stepped their feet into the world of writing and were facing the challenges that came with it. From Hemingway's love and carefree nature for writing to his fondness for the Parisian culture, the author has shared many things in this biography. Number 4. For Whom the Bell Tolls Hemingway worked for the North American Newspaper Alliance, and during his work for them, he moved to Spain when it was facing the Civil War. He spent three years in the country, covering the events and aftermath of the Civil War, and in 1940, he complied all of his work in the form of For Whom the Bell Tolls. In this novel, Hemingway has shared the story of a soldier, Robert Jordan, who was working as a teacher in America, before he volunteered to join the Loyalist Army in Spain. Robert was asked to contact a group of freedom fighters and then blow up a bridge when the Loyalist Army was attacking Segovia. Despite being a soldier of the fascist army, Robert starts to work with the guerrilla group. From helping the group of guerrillas to falling in love with a woman Maria, present in the group, the story of Robert is one that is worth the read. However, it is a book full of emotions, so if you are expecting rainbows and sunshine, then put it down. Hemingway's way of writing brought Robert's character to life and told his story in such a way that it will have you crying. Number 3. The Sun Also Rises The plot of this book is post-World War I, following the Lost Generation, which is the name used for the survivors of the war who were disoriented and trying to find a purpose in their lives. In this writing of Hemingway, you follow the journey of Brett Ashley and Jake Barnes, who begin their journey from Paris and go all the way to Spain in the early 1920s. In Spain, the two characters find themselves drawn to the brutal yet famous bullfighting rings of the country. The major theme of the book is not only the feelings that Jake develops for Brett and the mere journey of the two characters, but Hemingway has focused on the resilience of the people post-war. The fact that people of the lost generation were not as weak as the world thought of them, but they were strong-willed and had survived the trauma and damages of the war, and yet were looking for a purpose in life, is one of the best things about this work of Hemingway. This is one of the books that brought Hemingway fame for his work in the 20th century. Number 2. A Farewell to Arms The major story of A Farewell to Arms is about an American who is living his life and as expatriate in Italy. Frederick Henry is serving as an ambulance driver during World War I, and once he returns to the front he meets Catherine, who is working as a nurse at a British hospital. Despite their contrasting personalities, Catherine and Frederick are drawn to each other. Once Frederick is injured and suffers damage to his knee when he is in Milan, he becomes delighted to find out that Catherine has also been transferred to work at a hospital in Milan. The feelings of the two characters heighten for each other, but fate has other things in store for them. Along with his knee injury, he is diagnosed with jaundice and is accused of becoming ill to refrain from going back on the front, so his union with Catherine is cut short. From Frederick's struggle during the war against the German army to the unplanned change of events, this novel has a very gripping story. An interesting fact about this book is that Hemingway said that he had to write the ending of this book 39 times to get it right. Number 1. The Old Man and the Sea One of the most famous books by Ernest Hemingway, The Old Man and the Sea was published in 1952 and got the author a Nobel Prize in 1954. This book narrates the story of an old Cuban fisherman who went out in the water every day for nearly 84 days and then returned empty-handed. On the 85th day, he woke up more determined than ever and sailed far from his usual place around the island, till he reached the water of the Gulf Stream. As the end of the day neared, he caught a fish through his bait, but it was the largest fish he had ever seen. The marlin that he caught in his hook had more strength than Santiago, so it starts to pull the boat. For two days, Santiago fights against the marlin and struggles to kill it, and succeeds to kill it on the third day. However, when he sets to sail back to his island, he finds out that there are other predators present in the water, who want to eat the fish he has caught. This novel is a great piece of literature, and the best work of the author, without a doubt. This classic author has written many amazing books and novels in his life, 
but those who are new to his work may find it hard to pick one, in the fear of being disappointed. Worry not, the list that I just shared is the best work of the author, so you will not be let down. If video helped you find the next book you are going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the books mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.